Hey folks, it's Andrew here and let's talk about the CV gate and MIDI outputs on Carbon. First let's look at the MIDI menu. If we go into the MIDI menu you'll see the first two options are Program A and B. Then we have Outport A and Outport B. The reason why we have an A and a B is because every track can send to two different outputs at the same time. These A's and B's are not to be confused with the CV output pairs, which are named A, B, C, and D. So the first two options are the program. That sends program change messages automatically. If there's a dash, that means there's no program change message to be sent. You can select a program change or you can default to nothing. So for instance, on my synthesizer here, I can choose different sounds. You can select the channel number for each of the outputs, channel 1 through 16. If you have this set to CV gate outputs, it will show the CV gate output pair selection instead of a channel number. The key split mode lets you turn on keyboard split either off, left hand, or right hand. If you have it set to left hand or right hand, the keyboard will be split at middle C and it will allow you to only send notes to this track if they match the corresponding hand that you've chosen. And because you can have multiple tracks selected at the same time, by using the keyboard split mode, it allows you to stack multiple tracks and then play two different sounds at the same time. If there's only one track selected, the keyboard split doesn't do anything. You can play the entire keyboard. The velocity scale option allows you to scale the velocity of the notes up or down. So for instance, let's say you're playing a drum part on your keyboard, but you want all the notes to be at full velocity. You can just turn this up and it will raise the velocity of all the incoming notes. And the auto live function was mentioned in the live video. And this is used to select whether you can play through a track all the time from the keyboard or not. So there's a concept that you should be aware of when you're using the CV gate outputs, which has to do with how they map from tracks to the actual outputs along the back. The outputs along the back are numbered 1, 2, 3, and 4, but the outputs in the tracks are numbered A, B, C, and D. And there's a reason for this, because this allows you to pair up the outputs in different combinations so that you can do duophonic or polyphonic voices and so on. So the first thing is to select the system menu by holding shift and pressing sys. And then if you move over, you'll see that the second option is called CV gate pairs. So the way to think about this is each of the letters, there's four letters shown, right now it says A, B, C, D. Each of the letters represents an output along the back. So if we're in A, B, C, and D, uh, output A goes to output 1, output B goes to output 2, output C goes to output 3, and output D goes to output 4, respectively. So for instance, here's A, A, B, C. So now if we send to output A, we can have duophonic playback coming out the first two outputs. The other options are A, A, B, B, where we have two pairs of duophonic CV gate pairs. And lastly, A, 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 which allows you to have four voices uh, polyphonically, all coming out of output A. So in the track itself, you would send to output A, and internally it will map the voices to four outputs automatically. So let's just go back to A, B, C, D. This is really the simplest way to think about it. If you keep turning through the system menu, you'll see you can adjust the CV bend range. So when you use the pitch bender, this adjusts how many semitones up or down you will be able to bend the note. And then for each of the A, B, and C, and D pairs, you can select what kind of event comes out from the track. So your choices are note, velocity, or any of the CC numbers. So let's set pair A to note, and let's set pair B to velocity, which we'll use in a moment. So the first thing we need to do is we need to set the output to CV gate. 
And this will allow us to send out port A to CV gate. And if we choose the channel, instead of channels 1 through 16 for MIDI, we can choose CV gate A, B, C, or D. So now if we're set to CV A and we're on CV gate. Now if I play on the keyboard for track one, that sends out the CV and gate pair going to a modular synthesizer. Now, the reason why we mapped in the system menu, the reason why we mapped pair B to velocity is because this lets you use the dual output function from a track to set notes and velocities at the same time from the same track. So if we go back here, we can set out port B also to CV gate, except the channel is going to be CV B. Now I have the CV2 output plugged in to the frequency of a filter cutoff in my modular. So now when I play with velocity, you can hear the filter will respond. And that's about it for the CV gate and the MIDI outputs. Thanks for watching.